Hey, what's good, YouTube? What's happening? So, Taz, shout out to you. Um, Taz is real awesome. She's working on her, I believe it's the RHCE, um, I believe. Um, the Red Hat Certified Engineer Certification, I believe. Um, so, good luck with that, Taz. But anyway, she posted something on LinkedIn and Twitter that really had me thinking because, um, you know, I'm all about growth. I'm all about being progressive. I'm all about being outside of the box. I'm all about pushing myself mentally to be the best person that I can be. And what she posted was that if you pretty much do the same thing over and over where you're comfortable, you won't grow. And if you do something that's too hard, you'll quit. But growth comes at the edge of your limits. That was so powerful to me. Extremely powerful. Because I truly believe that you have to step outside of your comfort zone. I don't know if you ever seen that chart to where it has like this box and then it has like a circle. And then it says like inside of that box is you being comfortable. And outside of that box is... Um, I don't know, something great or, you know, just something exciting, like a huge gain, a reward is outside of that box. And that's where you actually have to be. Now, I've been in situations to where I literally want to quit. Even on YouTube, there's times where I'm like, man, I got too much going on. I need to focus on something. I'm going to quit. And it's like, nah, I can't quit. You know, I built this up. If I quit today, who knows what could happen tomorrow. And that's the way I'm approaching life. For me, um, yeah, that statement was very powerful. So thank you for that, Taz. And, and I wanted to share this to you because to kind of share, to have a conversation about it. You know, let me know your thoughts on the times that you've pushed yourself and were you rewarded? Did you quit? Did you regret quitting? How did that work out for you? Um, because there aren't too many things that I've quit in my life, but the things that I have quit, I regret. You know? Um, in the military, I was a, I was an element leader. And so in in, in in my element, you know, I had to be in charge of everyone that was in my element. You know, so you have ranks. When you're when you're you have a flight chief, and then you have element leaders that are under the, the flight chief. And so I was in charge of my element, which is one rank, one column in your flight. And looking back that is one of the main things that I regret quitting. The reason why I quit was it doesn't even matter. You know, at the time I had lost somebody close to me. It was my first time away from home. And it was extremely hard, you know, because I kind of grew up a sheltered child. You know, I didn't have a lot of responsibility. Or let's, let's put it this way. I wasn't allowed a lot of responsibility. Now, granted, I worked since the age of 13. My mama, you know, pretty much told me, like, look, uh, a man don't eat if he don't work. You know what I mean? So it was like at 13, you know, I had to contribute to the house all the way through high school, playing sports and having a job. You know, at one point I was working full time in high school. And so when I got to basic training, you know, that, here's a funny story with that. So any of you that are going to basic training, do not take bags. I'm a, <laughs> nobody told me this, but when, the night I got to basic training, it was like probably 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. We arrived in San Antonio. And me, you know, I, I do my best to stay fresh. So I'm thinking, you know, after basic training, we're going to go to tech school, and I'm going to be fresh. So I packed all my gear. I had two, you know, 50-pound suitcases ready. Man, we got off the bus to Lackland Air Force Base. Man, they had us line up in formation. 
Don't you know I had to hold them bass for like 30 minutes and I better not have dropped them? Look, if you're going to basic training, pack light. That's all I'm going to say. Pack light. All right. Now, let me get back to my story. So, you know, I'm in basic training. Um, I'm excelling. It's I'm growing. And then all of a sudden, the pressures of, you know, losing one of my friends. The pressure of, you know, being responsible for everybody else. The pressure of, you know, man, now I'm an adult. What I'm going to do? The pressure of, you know... My grandmother having triple bypass heart surgery. All of this stuff happened while I was in basic training. It, it was really hard. And it was like, man, I, I ended up quitting. And I regret it to this day. Because when it came to the time for graduation, you know, I felt like, man, I wish to be in front. I could have made my mama proud. But I wasn't strong enough to face that. You know, I can't go back in life. But I use that situation as something to know what quitting feels like and what the results of quitting will do to you. Because trust me, the more you quit things, situations, obstacles, and you give up, the more it becomes a pattern. At the same time, the more you push yourself through that breaking point is when you grow. The more, man, this is this is kind of revealing something to me. You know, God will only put on you what you can handle. And if he put a little bit on you and you can't even handle that, how you going to get more? And I believe, you know, within the last six months, that's really where I've um, grown to go within myself to see what I'm made of. Because I know my vision and what I want to accomplish in life. And the only way I'm going to accomplish that is by being able to manage what I have on my plate today. It's the same with you. If you're going to school, you got a family. You have all these things, all these obstacles that you are facing. Trust me, they are there to grow you. They're not there to tear you down. They are there to grow you, to prepare you for something greater. That's the whole purpose. You have to embrace everything that comes your way. The positive and the negative. The yin and the yang. Because a diamond is only formed through pressure and heat. That's the only way you get this beautiful, precious metal. Yeah, I mean... Life is temporary. Nobody's promised tomorrow. Um, People will tell you, you know, like I posted a video yesterday about the Network Plus versus the CSIN. I didn't say, you know, which one you should choose. I didn't say, you know, which one is better than the other because they both provide you valuable information now granted the piece of paper of the ccna will make you a lot of money but let's talk about this when you mention comptia there's people out there that will put it down just for the sake because it doesn't have the same bang for buck that the um cisco the vendor certifications have but when you talk about learning a foundation CompTIA gives you that roadmap to say hey these are technologies that will teach you to give you an idea of where you may want to go throughout your career you can use that foundation you can buy the book you can study for the exam and never take the exam just take the information and then go on to the CCNA you don't have to take the exam now granted yeah you want to add some more certifications to your um to your resume but if you don't have that three hundred dollars to invest in the network plus but you got forty dollars to buy the book buy the book and learn the information and take the three hundred dollars when you get it and get the ccna so not only will you know routing and switching but you also know how to um slightly secure a network and how to manage storage 
um, how to do everything, to how to do virtualization, how to do those areas at a basic um, fundamental level. So that way when you get in an interview, you know, you don't just have one area of knowledge. So when they ask you these questions about storage, you know, what do you know about iSCSI? Uh, well, um, the Network Plus will, will talk about that. So you will have an idea. So that way when you're in a data center and you get this data center interview, you know, the Network Plus, just by studying the information, if you decide not to take the test, you have more knowledge than just the CCNA. And then you're going to su- kind of surprise them because it's like, uh, he's more than just what he is on the paper. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or she is more than what she just has listed on her resume. Yeah. So it's, um, I'm headed to Micro Center. You know, this is my thing. I need to go pick up. I bought my mom a laptop or whatnot. So I need to go pick up um, some Microsoft Office and some antivirus. I'm debating on which antivirus to get. You know, um, ESET is a pretty good antivirus. But Bitdefender has been ranking pretty high. And then I guess Norton antivirus has improved drastically or has improved a lot. So I'm kind of torn on what to get. So I'm a, I've done some research, but I'm going to go price them at Micro Center and see which one works best. And like I said, I'm going to pick her up at Microsoft Office so I can get this laptop in the mail to her. Mama, if you're watching this, I love you. Um, yeah. Don't be afraid to push yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Find a mentor, you know, surround yourself with the right people. Remove the wrong people from your life. You know, ask yourself why these people are in your life. Grow. Grow. You don't have a choice but to grow in life. You can either fight it or embrace it. Fighting it ain't going to be good. So just embrace what you're going through. You know, be thankful for the good and the bad because it's all meant to grow you. It's all meant for your good. At the end of the day, no matter what happens to you, the stronger you you carry through it and you push forward, the more dynamic of a person you'll have on this earth to be able to help someone else. Yeah, but I mean, be encouraged, y'all. Be encouraged. I'm about to go handle this business. I just wanted to make this quick video. Shout out to Taz again. And uh, thank thank you to everyone that's been supporting and rocking with me. And just, you know, sharing this journey. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm no greater than anybody. I'm no better than anyone that, you know, watches my channel. I don't like to use the, the follower term. You know, like, even on Twitter, I'll be like, um, <laughs> shout out to the new followers of these tweets. Because... I'm not really looking for nobody to follow me. I'm, that's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to give you some information. If you take that nugget and go on and start your own movement, I salute you and I support you. You know, like, yeah, it, it's dope when y'all go ahead and click them affiliate links so y'all buy the shirt. That's dope. But at the end of the day, I just want to help you. If I can help you once, if I can help you twice, if I can help you for a lifetime, that's what's up. You know, but ultimately I'm about my growth. That's the only way I can improve. That's the only way I can provide um, more of an impact here on YouTube, outside of YouTube, in my family, you know, in my relationships, and just in my spirituality. Because trust me, a lot of people talk about I'm positive, but at the same time, I'm negative too. I got to have both sides. That's the only way I grow, you know, and I do my best to have balance. So that's it, man. I ain't trying to get on the rant and I ain't really trying to go spiritual. I just want to holler at y'all real quick before I head to Micro Center. I kind of enjoyed these little rides so we can kind of just talk. So y'all have a great weekend and I'll catch up with y'all later. Peace.